Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to discuss with you guys the books that I would like to read before I'm going to university. So I am 18, I graduated two months ago, no that's not true, one month ago. Time flies by Sabine, but whew, not that quickly. So I officially graduated last month from high school and right now I can go to university. So I am going to study biomedical sciences at the University of Utrecht this September. And it's all new and exciting and scary at the same time. And I'm just very overwhelmed with what is going to happen this September. Of course, I'm going to be leaving my hometown, so I'm going to live by myself around the area of Utrecht, which is a city in the center of the Netherlands, which is very close to Amsterdam. I know a ton of people know Amsterdam, but uh, Utrecht is also very well known in the Netherlands. And biomedical science is like a study where you learn a lot about the human body and you really go in depth about Stuff like that. I truly hope that what I am imagining the study, you know, the university, etc. to be like is going to be a bit like that. Like I'm not going to be disappointed and I hope that I will like what I'm going to do because this was the only study where I was like, yeah, I feel like this fits with me because I'm interested in biology and stuff like that. Um, so it's all exciting and scary at the same time. But before that, I want to read a ton of books and I have a lot of books that I really want to read before I'm going to start university. So let's start off with a couple of books that also center around the idea of having a new, a fresh start and going to college or university. So the first book is a book that I've actually already read, but it might be good for me to reread and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And by the way, my copy is totally discolored. The spine is a completely different kind of mint than the front of the cover because of the sun that sometimes Times comes in my room because it's still the Netherlands so the weather there's not a lot of sun it's mostly rain but I've already read this book and it's about Kath who goes to college with her twin sister and Kath was expecting uh, that her sister also wanted to uh, you know share a dorm with her and just be a lot around Kath as well but her twin sister doesn't want that at all um, so she just starts college off with like not a really good feeling and being a little bit more apart from her sister. Kath also writes fan fiction about this uh, series called Simon Snow which is sort of like our Harry Potter um, and I feel like I would really appreciate to reread it because I read this when I was in my fourth year of high school and I still had two more years to go um, so I wasn't really fully aware of what it would feel like to go to university or college and have a new start without any of the people that you already know. So you're completely out of your comfort zone. And I feel that if I would reread this one, I would be completely like in sync with how Kat is feeling, just being kind of anxious, but also trying to make new friends at university. And yeah, so I already kind of know what's, you know, gonna happen, but it's been two years, so I've probably forgotten a couple of things. Fun fact, I read this on the train when I went to the experience Experience day at the University of Utrecht Biomedical Sciences and now I am wanting to reread it while I'm going to Biomedical Sciences at the Uni of Utrecht so that's also kind of mind-blowing. The next book that also has to do with college is A Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. Her name is so hard to pronounce but this is a little different because I am not I don't have like a mental illness and stuff like that and this is about a girl who has um, schizophrenia. She's also going to college and she wants to be seen as kind of like a normal girl and she wants to just get through college like anyone else. Um, but I believe that she had an imaginary friend back in the day and all of a sudden she meets that imaginary friend at college and she has to figure out if this person is real or not. That is, I think, what it is about if I wasn't correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, just look it up on Goodreads to be sure. But again, it's sort of like adapting to college but with a mental illness and I don't have that so that is already a factor that is not, you know, relevant to me but it is about college and it's supposed to be a really good book so that is also why I'm just interested in it. And then I have my last and final college book that is a contemporary with mental health again, and that is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. This is Karis from Karis on Reading, which is one of my best friends here on booktube. Her favorite book, like her favorite trilogy, this is the first book in the Spinster trilogy, and I believe that this is about a girl who has depression and is going to college, and she just wants to fit in in college and stuff like that, and I feel like just the fitting in part of that is always really interesting in the 
these books that are about college. I feel like this book is also just very similar to my situation except for the mental health part which I'm very lucky about that I um, don't have any mental health issues. And the next three books are not books that are like centered around college but just books that I would really really love to get to this summer as well just before college, uh, university. I'm not going to college. I don't know what the difference is though. But the first one is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This book came out last year and I have read Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour and Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson before and those are like one of my favorite contemporaries of all time and I've just been meaning to pick this one up and she just writes like Morgan Matson just writes amazing contemporaries with like a deeper kind of like storyline in it as well but it's mainly just having a fun time reading this book and I don't really know what this is about I believe it's about a girl and her father is like doing this big election campaign thing uh, and her summer just doesn't go as she planned it to go so that's all that I need to know and I just really want to read another Morgan Matson book before I will start university and I won't be able to read that much. The last two books that I absolutely want to get to uh, are fantasy books and the first one is A Court of Wings and Rune by Sarah G. Mass. I bought this book when it came out like I pre-ordered it and I still haven't gotten to it because I was starting a reread of the whole series so I've already read Akatar. I also started my reread of Akamath but I quit because I was just not really feeling it so I first have to reread Akamath like I have to finish my reread and then I can read this one. I just want to be fully invested in the story and just read it just as much as I can like when I go to university I probably won't have that much time so I won't be fully invested in the story and I just want to pay so much attention to it and pick up every detail that I can. I've heard very mixed things about this book so I'm curious to see what I will think of it. And then the last book that I want to read before uni is very special to me and that is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, this is the only book that I have to read before I'm gonna finish the Harry Potter series which is logic because this is the last book. I've just been waiting so long to pick up this book. I finished The Half-Blood Prince last year somewhere in May or April I think. I really enjoyed it but I just haven't had the time to pick it up or maybe I did have the time but I just didn't want the series to end. Um, so I just want to read this before the end of August. Plus the epilogue in this book takes place I believe at the end of August? Beginning of September in 2017. This is like I think my number one priority for this summer to just finish this. I need to read it even though I don't want this series to end. So those were the six books that I would really really like to get to this summer before I'm going to university. If you guys would like to be updated on what I'm currently reading, what I'm doing with my life, etc. You can follow me in all of my social media pages. Of course I have Goodreads. I also have a bookstagram which I'm trying to be more active on so if you want to follow me on that. I also have a personal Instagram. I have Snapchat. I have an email address so you can send me an email if you want and I will leave links to all of my social media pages in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!